101. Covering what critical thinking is and a few ways to help others use or improve upon their critical thinking skills. Critical thinking is objectively processing and analyzing information using logic and reasoning to make informed decisions. Critical thinking is important in researching a topic, gaining insights from that research, and then deciding to create, innovate, or take action based on that research and those insights. This applies both to work and to everyday life. So basically, it's important all the time. As someone watching this video, you may already be aware of this and frequently use critical thinking in your daily work or daily life. However, you may be looking for a few tips on ways that you can help others around you improve upon their critical thinking skills. First tip we have is to ask questions that will help the person to think about and evaluate the source that the data or information they are sharing comes from. For example, where did you find that interesting statistic about XYZ that you brought up in today's meeting? Or, that's really interesting. Where did you find that out from? Another way is to ask questions to help them think about and evaluate the validity of the source of the data or information they are sharing, such as, I hadn't heard of the source XYZ before. Do they have expertise in this area? What type of study did Source XYZ do to get this data? What was the sample size of the study done by Source XYZ? Another way is to be a good example yourself. Use good valid sources and cite the sources you use in reports, presentations, etc. Even if you're using internal company data, you can still cite it. You can cite which company database you got it from, or which report you use, or which filters you use to pull that data, also including the year of publication, or the date that you pulled the report from the company database can be helpful, especially when it comes to knowing how recent that data is. Another way is to avoid sharing facts, data, or other information that you maybe have heard somewhere, but you don't know if it came from a reliable source or not or you don't even know what the source may be, so just try to avoid that. Don't contribute to the spread of misleading or false information. Not everyone has developed critical thinking skills to be able to analyze for themselves if what you're saying, sharing is valid data, true facts, or not. If it's a topic that interests you, or a topic that you are asked to provide information on in a meeting, presentation, report, etc., you can research that topic to find good, reliable data or other information from good, reliable sources on that topic to share, and be sure to cite the source. The last tip is when you're presenting or reporting data to an audience who are researchers or who have a background in statistics, avoid saying that a difference or an increase or a decrease was significant if you just mean it was important or big and not that it was found to be statistically significant. An audience made up of researchers or people with a background in statistics may think that you mean that the difference was found to be statistically significant, i.e. the p-value was less than 0.05. If that's not what you mean, then avoid saying the word significant and instead use large, big, important to clarify your meaning.